Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for love, wealth, and health. And this is going to be for mid-June. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you look at personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, the I of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below. So we're going to talk about love, wealth, and then health. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So give me nine cards for my Libra's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Libra's career and finance for now until the end of June. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see what you got in here, Libra. All right, we got the Nine of Swords. Also, Libra, remember you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these, Libra, make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. Oh, wow. Nice stable energy there. So it looks like someone is trying to defend and fight for their position here. Seven of Wands energy towards this opportunity that of love. It's somebody that either you walked away from or they walked away from you. Um, let's keep going here, Libra, and let's see what's going on here with the situation. I'm going to get more clarity here. It seems like there's some worry and anxiety here in the start, like someone's really stressing about this situation because there's some kind of air of mystery. Something seems to be secret or someone's not revealing all the answers here to the situation. And also interesting enough for you guys, my intuition is drawn to the yin and yang symbol here. Uh, so I feel like some of you may be dealing with a twin flame soulmate connection here, or there's some uh, aspect of yourself that's being brought into balance because of the situation, okay? That's just for some of you, I know. I know it's a very specific message, okay. <clears throat> so... What's going to happen my Libra's romantic love life for now until the end of June? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I also feel like someone's just going to show up all of a sudden. I feel like some of you, it's going to be why you're out. Um, I also feel like possibly traveling or you're, you're going somewhere. You're finding some kind of direction. Mm -hmm. We see that walking away kind of energy. There's a deeper knowing here. We got the High Priestess card energy. I feel like you guys have seen some signs here. Things are being brought together. There is this knowing that things will be healed here with a connection. That's what I feel like also. Um, potential signs involved with this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So we see that there is a situation where you guys have been stuck between two different situations. There could be multiple people here, it could be family, friends, okay, some infringing connections. But there is a situation here, okay? Something of value here, Ace of Pentacles kind of energy here. And also it's very stable too. So I feel like you guys are kind of going with the flow. That's what I feel like here coming up. And you do realize, you know that there is this situation that has really made some kind of foundation here. It's also to do with somebody who had walked away Okay, either you walked away from them or they walked away from you. It's something that's a solid foundation. There's a foundation already in place here. Yeah, like, and we see at the bottom of the deck, it's like a deeper knowing about this. And even going down further, is someone that you've been thinking about and you've been getting signs about this, okay, this opportunity. And you almost feel like it's too late, right? I feel like you guys, some of you guys are like, it's too late when it comes to this love connection, but they're gonna, they're gonna reveal their emotions to you, okay? They're gonna come out, they're gonna speak the truth. They want to mend this connection, okay? And uh, you're gonna be at a bit of a crossroads because it's gonna take you by surprise and you're not gonna be expecting this. All right, let's keep going here, Libra. This person is going to send you a message, okay? It's gonna come in fast here with the Knight of Wands energy. So let me get more clarity on this just to be sure. All right, so. What's going on my Libra's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Libra's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Libra's Career and Finance. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we see main person, which could be you, could be the love interest. We see the other main person. Yeah, that's definitely a person that, hmm, it's definitely, um, 
two people coming together or you have two choices here. And there is this hidden aspect to one of the, the people here. This could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or the one that's coming in very solid is the one that you've known before. There's also possibly for some of you another connection. It's pretty passionate in nature. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you guys are definitely feeling like there's a lot of chemistry and passion, but you just don't know where it's going to go. And there is concerns about that because it's like, all right, I don't want to let this run away with me here. Um, you're listening to your intuition looks like coming in. Um, and you're trying to figure out who do you want to be with here. Um, I definitely feel like this person from the past is coming in very strong here. They really want to fix this connection. I feel like you guys probably already know this though. Let's get a little bit more information here. What's going to have my Libras? Romantic life. From now until the end of June. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we see here, yep, a power move will be made towards a soulmate connection, and you're gonna have to make a decision very soon. That, what did I say, guys? I felt like this was a twin flame soulmate connection coming in. They're, the news they're bringing to you, this, this good news is coming in, is because they feel bad. And let's go further on this. Mm -hmm. It's something you've been waiting for, okay? It's someone that you have been isolated from, separated from, distant from. It looks like they want some kind of commitment. They feel unavailable to pursue here. Okay? Or you want to isolate yourself from this situation here. That's what I feel like. Or they're like, I feel really bad. Let's go out. Let's spend some time together. You know, I'm single and available to pursue here. <clears throat> the Empress shows me that this is, there's potential to start a family here with the Empress card energy. And it is a sense of, or there's something to do with fertility here for some of you. And it's like huge potential for an ending for a new beginning here. It looks like they definitely want your attention here and they feel bad about the situation, about this ending. And they're coming in very stable, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They see you as the best decision for a long-term commitment. But you're like, maybe this is too late, right? There is a, an offer being presented here. Mm -hmm. And you also have a, another person I feel like you have a lot of strong chemistry and passion, which is why you're at a crossroads when dealing with this other person. Your other situation, this person, this person that you've dealt with before, they're hopeful that they can heal the connection. Okay. <clears throat> so a power move is being made because they feel bad. But you also have a situation where somebody's a lot, got a lot of chemistry and passion with you. We see there's a relationship and quite a few choices here. And there's a lot of hope when it comes to your romantic love life. You're going to have to make a decision uh, because somebody is single and available to pursue and they want to heal the situation. Or you're, you're going to spend some time alone to kind of figure this out of what you want. Okay, let's go down to the layer here. We see that there are two people here and some hidden aspects or some deceptions or there is a sense of I, I don't know if I have the strength, courage, or confidence. Um, someone who's been hidden also that could be the case. Someone you've been waiting for, someone that you've been isolated or separated from. Uh, there could have been a marriage involved with the situation or a separation in a marriage, okay, for some of you. Or there is, or uh, you guys are focused on separating from this person, okay. But it looks like this person really wants your attention and they feel bad and it looks like there's a happy outcome there around this. Okay, going further. So there's a lot of worry and anxiety about the sense of mystery and finding that courage, strength, or confidence. There's good news about this renewal of the past, but it also looks like there's a passionate um, action being taken, passionate exercises, okay? Which could lead to, for some of you, uh, fertility or starting a family. Um, it looks like there could be an ending for a new beginning and King of Pentacles is telling me that you're trying to make the best decision for yourself for the long-term basis. Okay, okay, Libras, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. All right, let's move into your career and finance here. All right, so we've got the Five of Swords energy. we got the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands. Okay, King of Cups, nice. Two of Cups. you got some decisions coming in. Um, it definitely looks like you'll have more than enough money here. Let's get more information. So you start out being a bit defeated. There was a lot of chaos, a lot of stuff that just happened and like a lot of destruction around the situation. 
because of this truth that's going to come out, Queen of Swords. Maybe. And uh, it seems like there's some politics here, but it seems a little bit harsh in the words there. But it does look like things will be patched up and there's going to be a stable situation that's going to be brought together for once. All right, so what's going to happen? My Libras, Korean finance now until the end of June. Show my cards A to C. Show my cards A to C. <clears throat> yep, a hopeful situation for you guys. Yep, things are being brought into balance or you're going to have to make some kind of decision. And you're not sure which one to go with here. And you're realizing you have the freedom here. It looks like there's a lot to celebrate coming up here. And it looks like you will take a leadership role or you're going to have to take on more responsibility here with the leadership card. Or some of you may even think about going out on your own and expanding here. It does look like there is a sense of I need to bring things to balance. You guys are using your intuition here and you are receiving some kind of bonus, you're receiving some kind of appreciation, you're receiving some kind of advice. And it's allowing you to be able to take an action here and to go with the flow. And it looks like some of you are forming some kind of partnership here. We see that there's this defeated energy, some big changes here because of this truth about this um, stability, this stableness, this solid foundation here. Yeah, success. When it comes to work, it's been a long road, all right? And a long time. But you are getting good news here, Page of Cups energy, from a boss, or you're getting promoted for some of you. And you are definitely loving this situation. And it looks like there's some kind of meeting, there's some kind of socializing, there is some kind of networking going on. And it looks like some kind of partnership here, Two of Cups energy, or you're going to have to make a decision. Now, here's the thing, because I'm, I'm seeing a theme here with the polarity card and also here. So I feel like this decision could be like night and day, all right? So it could be like complete opposites. Like it's, it's something that's like, wow, I wasn't expecting this. This is completely opposite, but somehow it kind of comes together, okay? Or some of you guys have this commitment here, this contract, and it seemed like it was like night and day. It was like complete opposites. It, it didn't seem like it should come together, but it did. But you are concerned about something um, that could be sad about the situation. And this is leaving you like, oh, I got to make some kind of sacrifice here when it comes to a new beginning here. And Queen of Pentacles is saying you're getting some kind of advice here to how to heal the situation. Nine of Pentacles by the end of the month is saying you're going to have all the money that you need, a sense of independence here because of this decision. So I feel like some of you guys are coming out of a partnership, okay? And uh, you're make, trying to make the best decision when it comes to what you love. Others of you are taking on more of a leadership role. You're taking more control of your situation when it comes to other people. And it's causing some issues here when it comes to a fresh start, a new opportunity here. And you are making some sacrifices here to be patient, to figure out what you want in the long term until things come together here properly. And it does look like some of you guys, by the end of the month, you're going out on your own Nine of Pentacles energy or you have more than enough money because of some kind of court decision or something legal here. Mm. Okay, and because it says it's been a long time of sad news, okay, or it's been a lot of waiting, or a long distance situation, but this decision is made, there's a sense of justice here. And Nine of Pentacles is wish fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles is money, having more than enough money. And that's the ending card. And it seems like you've been patient here and made sacrifices for this. And you're receiving something, receiving some kind of money here. So some of you guys are dealing with some kind of court case, possibly, I'm not seeing the judgment card energy, but some of you guys may be dealing with a court case and you had to make a decision here, which caused some sad news when it came to people or the public. And, uh, but you really were like, I'm ready to make the sacrifice for this new beginning here. And I've been patient and I wanted to heal or recover from the situation, so I made this decision. And even the ending card is saying, you, you, you realize you had the freedom here to receive and that you use your intuition to bring things into balance. And there was a hopeful energy about it. And we see that there is this knowing that there's some big changes here and you're able to expand and go out there and spread your wings here. I feel like a lot of you guys are going out on your own with the Knight of Pentacles energy. 
Okay, my beautiful Libras, let's take a look at your health and wellness advice. Can I have some advice for my Libras health and wellness? Uh, now until the end of June, show me what you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so yes, I feel you on this one. Water, needing some water. And not taking things so seriously. That's what I feel like here with the children card. And give us your cares. Know that everything is going to be okay. All right? And being a little bit more lighthearted. And living in the moment. Because what do you do as a child? You're like playing with your toys. You don't care what's going on. You don't care what happened in the, in the past. Um, you're focused on, hey, what's the next holiday? When am I going to get this uh, from, you know, my grandparent? Whatever. So just focus on being more lighthearted, being more in the moment. All right, my darlings? I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.